The special report focuses on building national resilience to global risks. Resilience is important at the national level because these global risks are exogenous. They are going to manifest themselves in a country context, and essentially the country and its key systems will have to respond to it. This year's Global Risk Report has three core cases. Testing economic and environmental resilience, digital wildfires in a hyperconnected world, and the dangers of hubris. Each case represents a constellation of risks. And those risks are identified through an extensive survey process where we reach out to over 1,000 experts worldwide. When you look at resilience in the country context, you're hoping that a country can do three core things. First, can it adapt to a changing new context? Second, can it withstand a sudden shock? And third, can its systems get back to an equilibrium state if they're disrupted? Or can another system take its place if one system goes down? Those are the three elements of resilience that are really important when you look at the question of is a country resilient to global risks? In attempting to evaluate national resilience to global risks, we have a two-part methodology. The first part looks at resilience characteristics. With respect to resilience characteristics, there are three elements that we look to measure, both from a qualitative and quantitative perspective. And they are redundancy, resourcefulness, and robustness. The second area that we look at is what we call resilience performance. And there we look to evaluate a country's ability to respond and to recover to a future shock. The three cases in the Global Risk Report really are an effort to tell a story, to help leaders make sense of the various risks, how they interconnect their interdependencies, and their collective impact. 